So let's create the other text for our lot plan and let's start with this uh, lot indicator for the adjoining lots. And let's start again another text style. So ST and let's create new and this time let's make the text uh, 4mm same scale of 1 to 100 and we use it for the lot and then okay and of course we change the text height in relation to our desired text height so our desired text height when printed must be 4mm so we multiply 4mm times 100 that will give you 400 okay so that should be our text height and then apply and then let's uh, set it current also so set current and then close let's go back to annotate tab our text style now is set to 4mm and let's uh, invoke AutoCAD to do a single line text so DT enter click here as our start point then rotation of course we can set it to this direction so that it will already be towards this direction so we just align it almost uh, similar to the line 7 1 and then let's type the entry lat 62 block 35 so lat 62 and then block 35 ecs dash 04 dash 020630 and then click outside to accept the text and then just press escape and then let's just uh, copy this one so co enter and then from here towards here and then let's just rotate it a bit enter and let's not make it uh, that precise so let's just eyeball its uh, rotation and this one so almost the same what the change only is the number of the lot so this is actually a subdivision so this is lot 63 the previous was lot uh, 62 so this one it's lot uh, 63 and just click outside and then let's just position this a, a little more centered and we're good now let's create the other text so we have road and total lot area so we could presume that this is different because this is not condensed as this previous text that we have created so we need another text style for this which is a different uh, font but of this, uh, the same family as we have used so let's go back again to AutoCAD and then invoke again AutoCAD to create a new text style. So type ST and then enter and then another new text. Okay, so this time let's use 5mm. So 5mm for one scale 1 is to 100 and then for the lot and then okay and of course this is 500 and then the text should be this one so just below the initial okay so just below the initial text or the previous text it should be the selected font and then apply and then again set current make it the current textile on our annotate tab and then close and then let's create first the total lot area this time let's uh, create the remaining text using a uh, multi-line text okay because we need to edit them further and the single line text is limited in editing our text so let's invoke autocad to do a multi-line text by typing t and then enter and let's specify our text box so let's specify from top uh, left and then lower right and let's type uh, total lot area enter it's 246 uh, square meters let's remove that and then 
select all the text and then make sure it's centered okay and then leave it there so let's uh, center our text by moving it just so then we are ready now to create the the text for the road and invoke again the multi-line text so t enter and then specify first corner and then opposite corner and then let's type road to capital letters so road and then accept it however our reference have spacing of the letters okay so we go back to autocad and provide the appropriate spacing for that so let's double click the text to open the text editor tab and then select all the text and let's try formatting the text by adjusting the spacing here on the tracking okay so go to the uh, up and down arrow here and then try to press the up arrow so press the up arrow until it stops so unfortunately until for only let's check if the distance is almost similar to our reference this has more spacing as compared to our text so let's uh, modify it further so i want you to click on this particular grip point and then expand it maybe like so and then double click again the text then control a to select all and then in paragraph panel uh, select this distribute okay so click on distribute to uh, distribute the text within the uh, text box okay and then click outside to accept the uh, changes or modification for our text and then let's position it properly to our uh, road so click and then ro to rotate enter and then i use this as my base point to rotate it and then maybe that's already good and then position it closer to our lat area or i mean our lat line let's check our reference i guess we went too far okay so double no let's click this and then adjust the x box then escape then move it centered so maybe in that particular area and let's check the other remaining text so road road so let's just copy our uh, text here to copy one two and then just rotate it you want you may want to uh, just create another text but i will just rotate it for me just i would it you may want to be precise but there's no need to be precise with this text then move it along the road and at least center to line four five and i'll rotate also this one so our o from here i will rotate it almost as parallel as possible to line two three then let's adjust it a bit and then there of course we have the curb line so the width of the road must be indicated but uh, for our case it was not indicated and it was not given uh, with the lot description so let's assume it's a subdivision maybe it's six meters so let's offset our lot line boundary so o for offset and then enter and then offset distance of course we want it to be six meters so we type six thousand one two three so six thousand enter and then we want it towards of course the outside and of course we don't like this uh, extension it's not a uh, corner through lat okay so it's just a corner lat as our reference suggests it's a corner lat so we need to trim these uh, excess lines we don't want to 
uh, explode it because it will make these individual lines. I want it to be a polyline so that they could just be uh, selected as one entity. So what we do is we trim. Okay, so TR and then hit enter twice. One, two. Then just trim these geometries. And we're done with the uh, almost uh, all of the elements of our plot plan. Except, of course, with the north arrow. 